Um, here, I think I'm pretty much at the end. I say, where do we end up? Uh, oh, no, 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 I have more. Because uh, I, I wanted also not only to show what's happening, at least in terms of my eye, uh, what has happened in the past and some of what's happening now, I also wanted to reference the fact that there's, there is global reach. Um, so I ask, where do we end up? And I say, we are our own best product. Aesthetically, over the centuries, there has been a persistent posture of resistance and dissent <coughs> reflected most obviously in the choices to rearrange the givens of dress and presentation of self in everyday life. Art and its dynamic agenda is not a thing apart in the African inflected spirit. It is a, it is a tool of individual insight and group sharing that invites change and experimentation and feeds the human ensuring it has the proper room for play. The aesthetic privileges life and growth over death and stasis. And now I want to show you what I think of as some exciting life. <laughs> I love that red. Uh, this is an image uh, a friend of mine who's a photographer in New York sent me this. And I like the idea that the, um, that the man is there making the, the, the dress. He's adorning the woman. It's a complementary relationship. And also it's a comment on that in African societies, very often the man was the maker as well. And you see the other man over there working too. Uh, just like color, I kind of wanted to share with you um, the beauty of an African woman in all her kind of golden resplendence. And then I wanted to share with you, uh, there was this whole, uh, this was probably like the 80s and the 90s, I think there was a whole move in, particularly in France, but um, it was this, this desire to adorn the self. It was this, and it comes against perhaps a sad background and that very often uh, these men would have low level jobs, they wouldn't have very much money, but they would spend all their money so that they could look good. You asked us to talk about being seen. They ensured that they were seen. Then I'm coming back. I'm coming back to, uh, to the States, and I'm coming back to film. And that didn't come out that well on the screen, but it's an image of a superfly, and his name is Priest. Uh, which I she was selling something. <laughs> And I ask the question again, this is just for consideration, uh, what's being sold? And I was thinking, I'm, I'm not committed to this thought, but this is what jumped up in my mind, that just as I talked about how in the first image there was a residual of slavery there, I'm wondering whether there's a residual of slavery here in the sense that when you were on the auction block as a slave, you were stripped and you were bared. Thank you.